eerste ervaring. When you look at your past, you're looking at your legacy. The thrilling 30s. It was a time of unending curiosity. The most innovative talent in mind. Excited at the rapidly emerging vistas in science and technology. It was a world without limits. And a man in Denmark began to find new ways to control it. In the attic of his family home, Mads Clausen began to manufacture valves. Through perseverance and sheer mechanical genius, he built a company called Danfoss. And that was just the beginning. The company grew quickly, offering innovative products that offered real benefits to people's everyday lives. Charged with success, it was time for Danfoss to take on the world. Gradually, Dan Fox has established his own offices in London, Paris, and Singapore, Toronto, and Buenos Aires. And then Mads Clausen's eyes turned east. In 1962, Dan Foss began its history in India. Danfoss India began with 22 eager employees who opened the first office in Bombay. Another company with Danish roots, Larsen and Tubro, helped Danfoss market its products. 1966, the first Danfoss factory in India begins construction in New Delhi. Bitten Clausen, Mad's wife, flew in for the groundbreaking ceremony. As she laid the foundation stone of the new factory, there was no mistaking the company's commitment. Danfoss was in India to stay. When you look at your past, you smile at the difficulties and rejoice in the wins. India was a new world for Danfoss and the company had its share of difficulties. First, they had to establish the brand in a market of already strong players. The Ishwar Trading Company in Bombay helped Danfoss market its products and build its reputation a reputation built on customer service and quick on-time delivery. And then India's liberalization policies in the 90s sparked a resurgence in the Indian market for Danfoss. In 1998, Danfoss Industries Private Limited was incorporated as a 100% subsidiary of Danfoss and the company rapidly made its presence felt across India. In 1999, a sales office opened in Chennai. In 2000, sales offices in Mumbai and New Delhi. As sales grew, Danfoss began to expand its manufacturing facilities. A condensing unit factory opened in 2000 in Chennai. In 2002, 40 years after Danfoss opened its doors in India, Mad's son, Jorgen Clausen, inaugurated the Danfoss factory in Chennai. For Danfoss India, it was the start of a new era. Good morning, Danfoss. When you look back at your past, you see the people who walked with you. Danfoss has built its company on close personal relationships. Danfoss India has carried on the tradition. Helpful employees, trusted partners, and responsive customer service has given the company a long list of loyal clients. 
In 2005, Danfoss India achieved a turnover of 100 crores and a reputation that money can't buy. In 2007, KP Pressure Controls began production in Chennai. In 2008, Danfoss India began R&D on reciprocating compressors. In 2010, opened sales offices in Bangalore and Ahmedabad. As Danfoss spreads across India, new employees have multiplied, eager to work for a company that cares. When we look back, we see how important it is to be a part of the change. Ever since Mads Clausen turned out the first valve, Danfoss has looked to the future. A future that depends on preserving resources and using energy wisely. The company is an industry leader focused on climate and energy efficient solutions. The PSG Danfoss Center of Excellence is an inventive platform created by Danfoss India. Here, students develop innovative climate and energy solutions. And Danfoss is committed to building India's cold chain infrastructure. In 2011, R&D began for industrial refrigeration, high power drives, and electronic controls. We are committed to India, we are committed to uh, local production, to be a flexible supplier, flexible partner with uh, local production and also more important, local sourcing, because you cannot be flexible if you get your parts from Denmark. The industrial automation R&D lab started in 2012. Then in 2013, industrial refrigeration production started in MM Nagar, Chennai. Danfoss has introduced state-of-the-art employee and client education in India. The Refrigeration and Air Conditioning Learning Center opened in 2013 near Chennai. By 2015, Danfoss will invest $100 million in India. And that's just the beginning. Across the world and in India, Danfoss business areas span an amazingly diverse area and range. Today, Danfoss India is looking to the future. An energy efficient green campus is springing to life in Chennai. When we look back at our past, surprisingly, we are also looking ahead. Dan Foss, engineering tomorrow.